Now, let's examine the metabolic blueprint and translate the language your body is speaking. Are you fasting diligently, yet the scale refuses to move? You've been told intermittent fasting is the key, especially after 60. You skip breakfast, you drink your water, and you patiently wait for your eating window. Yet that stubborn body fat, particularly around the middle, just doesn't seem to care. It's a deeply frustrating experience, and I want to assure you that it's not a failure of your willpower. It's a failure of the information you've been given. The problem isn't the fast, it's how you are breaking it. Never good. Never good. It's a common story. You end your fast with what you believe is a perfect, healthy meal. Perhaps it's a bowl of oatmeal with a sliced banana and a drizzle of honey. Maybe it's a piece of whole wheat toast with a bit of jam. Or even a refreshing fruit smoothie. For decades, we have been told these foods are the cornerstones of a healthy diet. But I am here to tell you that for your body, especially after a period of fasting, this choice is the single biggest metabolic mistake you can make. It is the mistake that spikes a powerful hormone and completely stops weight loss in its tracks. That hormone is insulin. Think of insulin as your body's primary storage signal. When you eat, particularly foods rich in carbohydrates and sugars, your pancreas releases insulin. Its job is to escort the glucose, or blood sugar, from your bloodstream into your cells to be used for energy. Any excess glucose is then escorted by insulin into your fat cells for storage. Crucially, when insulin is high, your body simply cannot burn stored fat. The fat-burning doors are biochemically locked shut. The critical piece of information you may be missing is that your body is most sensitive to insulin in the morning, right after a fast. This heightened sensitivity means that a meal high in carbohydrates first thing in the day provokes a massive, almost exaggerated insulin response. You're essentially going from a calm, quiet, fat-burning state during your fast into a sudden, five-alarm metabolic fire. This is the very definition of a blood sugar roller coaster. All that hard work you did by fasting is undone within minutes. That seemingly innocent bowl of oatmeal triggers such a large insulin surge that it slams the door on fat burning for the next six to eight hours. This isn't just theory. It is fundamental metabolic science. Research from leading endocrinology journals has confirmed time and again that the composition of the first meal of the day sets the metabolic tone for the entire day. That single healthy choice is creating a hormonal environment that promotes fat storage, increases cravings for more carbohydrates later, and keeps you feeling stuck. It's the hidden reason why your fasting efforts feel so fruitless. That morning, insulin surge is the metabolic equivalent of a tidal wave. And after the age of 60, our bodies are simply not equipped to handle that kind of frequent flooding. To understand why, we need to look at two key biological changes that happen as we mature. The first is a natural process, and the second is a common condition we have the power to reverse. First, as we discussed, your body is naturally most sensitive to insulin in the morning. The scepter is about the addition to blow ferrous space day. Think of it from an ancestral perspective. For millennia, morning was the start of the most active part of the day. It was the time for hunting, gathering, and working. Your body evolved to be incredibly efficient at taking in fuel in the morning and quickly putting it into your muscle cells to prepare for this activity. It's a beautiful, intelligent system. But today, our mornings often look very different. We are not expending that immediate energy. Instead, we are sitting, reading, or driving. The second factor is a gradual change in how our cells listen to insulin's message. Over years, many of us develop a condition called insulin resistance. If insulin is the key that unlocks the cell door to let glucose in, insulin resistance is like that lock getting a bit rusty. The key doesn't turn as smoothly. Your pancreas senses this resistance and thinks the signal isn't getting through. So, what does it do? It works harder. It pumps out even more insulin to force the message through to get that glucose out of the bloodstream. Now, let's put these two factors together. You have the high insulin sensitivity of the morning colliding with the underlying insulin resistance that is common after 60. This is the perfect storm for a hormonal overreaction. When you break your fast with that bowl of oatmeal or toast, your body's initial powerful insulin response is met by those rusty cell doors. 
In response, your pancreas panics and releases a secondary, even larger wave of insulin to get the job done. The scepter is about the mother dram. It's a biochemical shout. This is what creates that profound and extended lock on your fat cells. Your body is so busy managing this deluge of sugar and insulin that fat burning is not just stopped, it's taken completely off the table for most of your waking hours. This process also explains so much about how you feel throughout the day. After that, huge insulin surge successfully shoves all the sugar out of your blood, your blood sugar levels often plummet, they crash well below baseline. This is called reactive hypoglycemia. About 90 minutes to 2 hours after your healthy breakfast, you suddenly feel it. That wave of fatigue, the brain fog that makes it hard to concentrate, a sudden irritability or a feeling of being shaky. What your brain interprets this signal as is a desperate need for more energy, specifically, more sugar, and it triggers powerful cravings. This is not a failure of your discipline. It is a direct, biochemical command from your brain trying to correct the blood sugar crash that your first meal of the day created. So you reach for a cookie, or some crackers, or another carb-rich snack. This gives you a temporary lift, but, of course, it starts the entire vicious cycle all over again, spiking insulin one more time. This is the hormonal bridge that connects directly to your struggle with weight loss. Living on this blood sugar roller coaster, day after day, is the precise hormonal environment that promotes fat storage and prevents fat loss. When your insulin levels are chronically elevated, it's a constant signal to your body to store energy. And as we age, the body becomes more efficient at storing this energy as visceral fat, the dangerous fat that accumulates deep within your abdomen surrounding your organs. This is why that weight around the middle is so incredibly stubborn. It's not just passive tissue, it is metabolically active, and it is being directly fed and maintained by the hormonal signal of high insulin. Every time you break your fast with a high-carb meal, you are personally feeding and protecting the very fat you are trying so hard to lose. Your body isn't broken. It's simply following the instructions it's being given. A two reason. But what if we could give it different instructions? What if you could break your fast in a way that keeps insulin low and calm? What if you could turn on your body's fat-burning machinery first thing in the morning and leave it on all day long? You can, and the solution is simpler than you could ever imagine. It doesn't require expensive foods or complicated recipes. It just requires flipping the script on what we consider a healthy first meal. So, here is the simple, powerful protocol I want you to try. It's a metabolic reset that requires no special equipment, just a shift in your thinking about your first meal. For the next week, I invite you to change only one thing. Break your fast with a meal that is built around two key pillars protein, and healthy fats. Your goal for this first meal is to consume at least 30 grams of protein while keeping carbohydrates and sugars as close to zero as possible. A two reason. That's it. What does this look like in practice? It could be three scrambled eggs cooked in real butter, served alongside half an avocado. It could be a generous serving of full-fat, plain Greek yogurt mixed with a scoop of protein powder, a handful of walnuts, and some chia seeds. It could even be a piece of grilled salmon left over from the night before. Notice what is completely missing from these meals. There is no toast, no oatmeal, no fruit juice, and no sugar. We are deliberately removing the very foods that trigger that damaging morning insulin surge. This protein and fat-first approach sends a completely different and profoundly healing signal to your body. Instead of a flood of glucose and a panicked insulin response, you get a gentle, steady release of energy. Protein and fat have a minimal impact on insulin levels. This one simple change keeps insulin low and calm. It tells your body that there is no emergency. It signals that the fat-burning machinery you activated during your fast should remain switched on and running smoothly throughout the morning. What you will likely notice first is not the weight loss, but the feeling of calm, stable energy that lasts for hours. The brain fog that used to descend mid-morning will begin to lift. Those powerful, distracting cravings for something sweet or starchy in the afternoon will simply vanish because their biochemical trigger is gone. You are no longer riding the blood sugar roller coaster. You are on a smooth, steady plane. The weight loss will happen. It becomes the natural, inevitable byproduct of a body that is no longer in a constant state of hormonal crisis. 
When you stop sending the relentless signal to store fat, your body can finally hear the whisper telling it to access and burn its own stored energy. This isn't about restriction, it's about restoration. It's about learning to work with your body's incredible intelligence rather than fighting against it with outdated advice. This simple change to your morning routine is about so much more than managing your weight. It's about reclaiming your vitality. By understanding the profound impact of insulin, you move from being a passenger in your health journey to being the pilot in the cockpit. You are giving your body the consistent, calming signals it needs to heal, to restore its natural metabolic flexibility, and to truly thrive at any age, proving that your best years are not behind you.